Hello Righteous, welcome to the 143 or 365 days of the righteous, your daily dose of righteousness consciousness. Proverbs 10 verse 29, the way of the Lord is strength for the upright, but destruction will come to the workers of iniquity. In the books of the Bible that give account of the leaders, judges, and kings that ruled or reigned in Israel, talking about judges, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, and 1st and 2nd Chronicles, one thing we see repeated over and over again was that every leader that walked in the way of the Lord did well. And every leader that forsook the way of the Lord failed. Now, this is not only true for leaders. It applies to every human being. The way of the Lord is strength for the upright. The Aramaic Bible in plain English reads, The way of the Lord Jehovah is power to the perfect and ruin to evildoers. Power is the capacity to do work. Most devices, no matter how useful, cannot function without power. The way of the Lord powers the upright. Hallelujah. Another way we use power is the number of times a certain number is to be multiplied by itself. For instance, 3 to the power 1 is just 3. 3 to the power 2, power of 2 is 9. And 3 to the power of 3 is 27. It goes on like that. Whatever you are doing, when you do it in the way of the Lord, you are giving it room to increase in geometric proportions. No wonder the kings we talked about earlier that forsook God's ways, they failed woefully, or you can say they failed geometrically. And those who walked in the way of the Lord prospered exceedingly in geometric proportions like David, Jehoshaphat, Asa, Jotham, and Hezekiah. Second Chronicles 27 verse 6, So Jotham became mighty because he prepared his ways before the Lord his God. No wonder Moses prayed in Exodus 33 verse 13, show me your way. That prayer was answered because we see in Psalms 103 verse 7, he made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. Moses knew the ways of God and did he prosper? Oh yes, he prospered exceedingly. He is one of the greatest leaders ever not just in the Bible, but in world history as a whole. Like David in Psalms 25 verse 4, you can pray, Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Later in that chapter, in verse 14 to be specific, it said, The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Praying to know the ways of God will lead to you knowing his secrets. No wonder David was super, super successful. We can say he is the most successful king in history. And this is not only for David, Moses, or, or the kings we mentioned. It is for us too. In fact, even greater, because our covenant is a better covenant based on better promises, according to Hebrews chapter 8, verse 6. So, before you take that step, before you make that decision, or even start your day, take a moment and pray. Lord, show me your way. Because the way of the Lord is strength. The way of the Lord is power for the upright. Whatever you are doing right now, pause for a moment and pray that prayer. He's a prayer answering God and he is very, very happy to show you his ways. To confide in you. To show you a better, a more productive, a more effective way of doing that business or that assignment. He cares that much. Hallelujah. I'll let you do that now and I look forward to sharing with you on our next episode of 365 Days of the Righteous. Have a blessed day.